Dr. Sella here, and here's the five-step preseason progression to installing midline triple with the offensive backfield. Today's date is June 20th, 2022, so most of you right now have about six weeks before the start of camp. There could be some variations. Of course, you poor sons of guys in Massachusetts have about nine weeks. Same thing with New York. Oh, it's tough to be coaching in a blue state right now. All right, so the five-step preseason progression to install midline triple with the offensive backfield. Well, the first thing you got to do is you got to work on the center quarterback exchange. The quarterback's got to get his knuckles on the stomach of the center. He's got to interlock his wrist, spread his fingers, four to six inches of separation between the two hands. The center's going to put his dominant thumb on the laces. He has his least dominant hand down. He's going to turn the ball toward the quarterback. The quarterback's going to secure it, and then the quarterback's going to jump in the backside A-gap and point the ball. So the quarterback's going to take the snap, jump in the backside A-gap, and point the ball. Okay, so that's the first thing you got to do. The second thing you got to do, and maybe a week later, maybe a couple days later, you're going to work landmarks with the B-back. So what's going to happen is you're going to add the B-back. You're going to take the snap, jump in the backside A-gap, point the ball. The B-back's going to sprint through the ball. You're, if you can, add a guard in there for real. And then the guard will just block down. You can veer inside too, whatever. The point is you're doing this for the B-back. So the quarterback takes the snap, jumps to the backside A-gap, points the ball. The B sprints through the ball, sprints through the play side hip of the guard, sprints through the end zone. And then the quarterback replaces the read. So just have a, somebody stand here, a coach stand here as a two technique because you read from a two technique out and have the quarterback replace through the outside shoulder of the two technique. So the quarterback takes the snap, jumps to the backside A-gap, points the ball. The B sprints through the ball, sprints through the play side hip of the guard, sprints through the end zone. And then the quarterback replaces through the outside shoulder of the two technique because that's the tightest technique you're ever going to run mid-triple to because if it's a two-eye of the guard and center ace. And... So then the next time you work with the quarterbacks, add a wide read. So the quarterback takes the snap, jumps in the backside A-gap, points the ball. But now it's real simple. It's the B-back's ball unless number one can cancel the B. And then if that's the case, the quarterback reseats the ball, steps with his play side foot, replaces the two technique, and scores. So basically, the coach will either deliberately take the quarterback or deliberately take the dive. He should be very deliberate to start as we're in the installation phase. So right now we've covered this in this three of the five steps in the progression so the quarterback, take, he's taking the snap, jumps in the backside, A-gap, points to the ball. The B sprints to the ball, sprints to the play side, hip of the guard, sprints through the end zone. And if number one takes the B, the quarterback replaces him and scores. So you worked that in step two, but now you do it live in step three. So you worked the center quarterback exchange, you worked the landmarks, you worked reading number one. Once the quarterback's good on that, by about the fourth week, you're going to add an, another coach. And he'll be number two. Have him as a four technique because if you have a two, the closest he can get really is a four technique because if it's a four eye, you'd have two people in the same gap. So at that point, and I always recommend having a tackle there. As I've said in other videos, I had a very wise uh, coach with whom I worked who ended up working on heart defibrillators who now does things that are even super executive level that was a triple option quarterback in high school that told me the dirtiest secret in uh, being a triple option quarterback is you need an offensive line in front of you to do it right. So everything we always did always had an offensive line in front of us. That was back in the <laughs> mid 2000s and boy was he right. So you'll add a tackle to it and you'll have the tackle just veer inside and maybe you'll have a coach here as a backer and he'll get his left knee in front of the backer. But you're going to have a quarterback take the snap, jump in the backside A-gap, point the ball. The B-back will sprint through the ball, sprint through the play side, hip of the guard, sprint through the end zone. If this coach takes the B-back, quarterback will replace him and scores. But if this quarterback can tackle, or excuse me, if this guy can tackle the quarterback, quarterback will stop his feet and flick the ball to the A-back coming around. So you're going to add a backside A-back. So when you add a backside A-back, what's going to happen is, the cadence is down, ready, set, hot, and he has to leave right on the S of set, hot. He's going to hammer step, take two 135-degree steps, and turn it up to catch the pitch, hit the seam, and score. But he 
turns up at 60 degrees, not 45. It's too flat. 60 degrees. He should end up about a yard and a half outside the tackle. So big wide 90 degree step to 135 degree steps and turn up at 60 degrees, 60 degrees to catch the pitch at the seam and score. So you're going to add him to the equation. So by the fourth time you do this, you're going to have a center, quarterback, B back, backside A, guard and tackle. So they're canceling number one and number two. The quarterback's canceling one and two with the backside A and the B back. So now you're in the fourth step with the progression. Then the fifth step, you add the play side A back and you add number three. So you're going to add, you put a guy up there as a ghost nine technique. And the A back's technique is on the Y and ready. He's going to hammer step this way, take two 135 degree steps, and then he's going to block number three. The hardest thing he's ever going to have to face is blocking it on line number three. And that is an absolute worst-case scenario, and he'll have to get his left knee in the crotch, left hand to the stomach, four northbound steps. So by the fifth session, by the fifth step, you're going to have the center, center quarterback exchange. Quarterback takes the snap, jumps in the backside A gap, points the ball. It's the B-back's ball. The B will sprint through the ball. He'll never grab at it. He'll run through it. He never reaches for the ball. Because if it hits, by the time it hits his belly button, it's his ball anyway, because the quarterback's got to determine that quickly. So the B's going to sprint through the ball, sprint through the play side, hit with the guard, sprint through the end zone. If number one takes the B, the quarterback replaces number one and scores. If number two can tackle the quarterback, the quarterback stops his feet, flicks the ball to the A back coming around. So, and then you've got this A back twirling to number three. So you've covered in five steps the center of the quarterback, the B back, the backside A back, the guard, the tackle and the play side A back, basically what it's supposed to look like live. It takes about five steps. So by the time you get to the season and you're in bullets and you're running live plays against a defense, a bunch of coaches holding shields, a bunch of players holding shields, or however you're going to do it, your kids are equipped and ready to go. The key to the whole thing, though, in, in preseason preparation is this guy right here. He's the guy that matters because he's the guy that choreographs everybody's feet to go to where they're supposed to go. So that's the five-step preseason progression to install mid-triple with the offensive backfield. Coaches, when you become a client and you host the camp with me, you're going to learn how to do this the right way the first time. There's no hesitation. There's no figuring it out. It's all done for you. Everything's automated for your kids so that they get it done the right way the first time. So if you want to do this the right way the first time, give me a call. My number's on the thumbnail of this video. So is my website. I'll talk to you soon.